cold-blooded murderers who perpetrated these attacks do not represent Islam. They do not get to define Muslims in Canada, in France, or anywhere around the world. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. Miguel Angel Moratinos, head of United Nations anti-extremism body has expressed deep concern over growing tensions over satirical cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam urging mutual respect between people of different faiths and political views. The inflammatory caricatures have also provoked acts of violence against innocent civilians who were attacked for their sheer religion, belief or ethnicity. Maritino said in the statement without explicitly referring to Macron's defense of the images insulting religions and sacred religious symbols provoked hatred and violent extremism leading to polarization and fragmentation of the society he warned on the other hand canadian prime minister justin trudeau defended freedom of expression on friday october 30 while believing that it had limits and should not arbitrarily and needlessly hurt certain communities Justin also condemned the deadly attack in the French city of Nice on Thursday as a heinous act of terrorism, saying that the perpetrators do not get to define Muslims. First of all, let me say the terrorist attacks uh in France are absolutely unacceptable. They were heinous criminal acts unjustifiable by any circumstances and an affront to all of our values uh we stand uh, with everyone around the world in condemning this unacceptable violence the criminals the terrorists the cold-blooded murderers who perpetrated these attacks do not represent islam they do not get to define muslims in canada in france or anywhere around the world Indeed brothers and sisters acts of violence are unacceptable in Islam critics of Islam often link Islam with violence what many people still don't realize is that terrorism doesn't have a religion misconceptions about Islam creep in because people choose to learn about our faith from headlines news rather than from the Quran and the stories of our prophet don't hate or blame the whole Islamic community just because of the mistakes and wrong doings committed by a few Furthermore, Emmanuel Macron appealed for calm from the Muslim world in comments to Arab broadcaster Al Jazeera on Saturday. Macron told the Qatar state broadcaster that he understood why Muslims were upset by cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, but this did not justify violence. Macron emphasized in the interview that the cartoons were not the work of the French state. He said political leaders had distorted the truth, leading people to believe the French government was responsible for the caricatures. The caricatures are not the governmental project, but emerged from free and independent newspapers that are not affiliated with the government, he added. He defended by saying that he would never accept that the cartoons justify violence. I will always defend in my country the freedom to say, to write to think to draw deciding to boycott a country a people because a newspaper said something in our country is crazy macron said macron defended himself telling al jazeera that his earlier comments that islam was facing a crisis were referring to the extremist elements that also threatened mainstream muslims macron again defended his plans for a bill to combat islamic extremism saying that it would help defend the muslim community in france He also said the legislation would target people who promote extremism and keep the Muslim community integrated in French society. Looks like in this interview with Al Jazeera, Macron really emphasized himself on to defending himself to the most. This only came after the Muslim world started by cutting French products from their LVs to YSLs. So brothers and sisters, what do you think is the reason that President Macron is defending not only his comments on Islam being in crisis but almost everything that has happened in the past few weeks? What do you think is the reason for his clarification? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then hit the thumbs up button and we'll provide you with more videos like this. Also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Until next time, assalamu alaikum.